is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I want to show you just how easy it is to cook Mars bars in the air fryer. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. If you're intrigued by air fry Mars bars, then just think about the popular air fried Oreos trend. Instead of filling pastry with Oreos, we're doing it with smaller Mars bars. They're absolutely delicious, especially with the lovely caramel center that you have on a Mars bar. And it's just so easy to do. Now first, let me run through uh, my pastry that I make. If you're making sweet pastry, then what I recommend you do instead is, as well as the flour, the butter and the water, is that you also add 28 grams or one ounce of caster sugar to it and this is the caster sugar that I recommend you use and then for flours I recommend you use the Biro brand so plain flour if you don't want any oomph to it I say oomph because if you use self-raising flour instead what it does is it puffs it up a bit so it makes it more like puff pastry and then also if you're going sweet what you can also add is you can add some dried seasonings of choice as well, such as my favorite is to add some cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, some ground spice, all of those work well in baking, or you could even use some ginger if you're doing some baking at Christmas time. The choice is just totally yours. So now you know the basics of our pastry, especially for savory pastry. The only difference we really do with the sweet is the addition of the sugar. So I've already uh, rubbed my fat into my flour and like I've already mentioned, I've used unsalted because it's so much better in sweet baking. And then we have the extra addition of a bit of caster sugar. So then add in your caster sugar and then you give it a mix around and you've got your sweet uh, dry ingredients there so now next you want to add some flour not flour what am i talking about water um a little bit at a time and then just use your hand around the bowl to get it mixed together this is how my grandma taught me how to make pastry i used to love watching her make a pastry She used to use a massive washing up bowl and do a massive batch of rock cakes. That was her favorite thing. My mum, who hasn't got a sweet tooth at all, always saying, oh, I miss her rock cakes. And then as you can see, coming together nicely. So let's do a little bit more water. bit wet and then you can add it in the rest of it. If you want to know how to rescue your pastry, let's say it's too wet, then just add in a little bit extra flour and it'll soon come to. So as you can see there, this pastry is coming along brilliantly. What I'm just going to do it's adding a little bit more flour and then of course flour my hands and then you can just give it a nice knead in the bowl and grab all that flour it's dropped you've got perfect 
And look, that's lovely sweet pastry that you can now roll out and use for Mars bars. And you can actually use the same pastry for some deep fried Oreos as well in the air fryer. So rolling out, start off the clean worktop with plenty of flour. And then cover it on both sides with flour. Then get a bit more flour for your hands. And then of course, a bit more flour for your rolling pin. It's lovely soft dough. And if you end up with a hole, just go up, fold it over and start again. Right, I don't want to go too um, too small because otherwise you're more likely for some of the Mars bar to come out. So I'm just going to go to that kind of thickness. And then if you think of the size of a Mars bar for what kind of slices you want to do. So let's start there. There, like that. Oh, and I also recommend that you don't allow your Mars bars to hit room temperature. We've kept ours in the fridge all night. And then as you can see, perfectly fits on there. And then bring it round like that. So it kind of looks like a big sausage. And then just make sure there's no holes anywhere. And that's what each one should look like. And then simply rinse and repeat. So grab yourself another mouth bar. And then you can go all the way down there. And again, make sure it's nicely covered that and you've got another big sausage <laughs> and then same again nope. I've broken a little bit there but it doesn't matter it's very easy to fit so you can roll it around like you're doing a Swiss roll as well just making sure that there's no chocolate on display because look that's a bad bit there. So we're just gonna like that. And I'm just gonna steal a little bit of this one just to cover that bit there. There's three of them. So I'm aiming for four because I know four will nicely fit in the air fryer basket. And then after this, we're gonna show you another way on how to make them. So this one's a bit tighter on dough, so we're just going to pinch a bit more off this one. So if you have a look, see if you've got any problem areas right there. And then there you go. We've got four ready to go, so there's two. Three, four. I don't know why, but the first one, I think I used too much pastry on it, so it's a lot thicker. So it'd be interesting to see how these three perform to this bigger one. And then you haven't got a little bit left over. You could probably get a Mars bar bomb out of this one. Let's try, see what we can do with it. Great thing is because they've been in the fridge, they're so easy to slice. So if you look at that one, there we go. So there you got four Mars bars ready for air frying and one uh, Mars bar bun, as they call them.
So as well as making your own shortcrust pastry and doing your Mars bars like that, you can also buy some ready to roll puff pastry. And this is the Tesco's ones and we love it because it's already rolled and it's just so fast and simple. And from that bag of Mars bars, we've still got three left. So hopefully we can get three out of this, which I'm sure we can. Puff paste is quite big. Sec while I get this out. I haven't cleaned up because it's the same product and we still need some flour for it, so why not? I'm still not used to this because we never had anything like this in Portugal. We, we, we would just buy a block of puff pastry and then roll it out ourselves, so it's nice to have it like this. And actually, I think I'm going to just uh, prep them on this because it's just going to be so much easier. And then what I suggest you have is because the puff pastry is made for universal for sweet and savoury, I recommend that you add a layer of sugar to it because it just adds to the flavour. And then what you can do is get your mouth bags open and start prepping it. So if you look at how small they are, that's so easily going to fit on here. You know, you could probably get some more out of this, but unfortunately that's all the mouse bars we've got. Right, so move that out of the way. And then using your knife. And then you can go again, the same thing, but the other way. And then roll them up. So as you can see, they're rolling up perfectly. And then you can stick it down. This puff pastry works so well that I never really feel like I need to add extra egg wash to stick it down with. And same again. And then for the last one. This is, this is the longest strip, so I'm just going to chop some off this. And there you go, that's the last one. So now we've got our three Mars bars in the puff pastry ready to go, and four Mars bars in homemade shortcrust pastry, plus a little Mars bar bomb already now to be going in the air fryer. I'm just gonna have a quick tidy up and then we can get them cooking. So we've had a good clean up and now it's time for the egg wash. Just a quick egg wash across them all. Obviously the puff pastry ones, because of the amount of butter in them, they always go a lot more golden than compared to homemade pastry. Give that an extra one. And then that just leaves the bomb. And there you go, they are ready to go in the air fryer. So let's see which ones we can fit in there. Right, open. To make it interesting, we'll do uh, one version on one side and then one version on the other to see how they do. There's no room for the bomb, I don't think. Oh, hang on a minute. I think it would fit in there like that. Yep, I think that's absolutely perfect. So we're going to go with eight minutes at 180 because the air fry we originally had that we uh, tested these with was more powerful than this one. So eight minutes should do the trick. And then press that. And we've beeped. So, We've done eight minutes, so now we're going to check on it and see if it needs a little bit longer. And then if it does, we'll add a little bit more egg wash and put it on for a couple more minutes. Let's check on them. And wow, they're getting a wonderful colour to them. 
but it's just down the edges there that the problem is uh, because there's so many in the air fryer at once. If you're just doing four, then they would be done by now. So, let's add some more egg wash, especially around the sides. the golden color in the air fryer from the egg wash it's gorgeous so now we're just going to put them back on for two more minutes same temperature and another two minutes and then press that and we've beeped wow these look absolutely fantastic let me show you them I mean, look, they kind of look like our pull apart bread because of how close they are together. And they're just perfect for a nice supper or in summer for when you've had a barbecue and you want something to give your guests afterwards. They're just lovely and they're just something different to do with your Mars bars. So I've given the Mars bars a couple of minutes to cool down. I didn't give them too long because you want the lovely meltedness from them. And I think the only one that's really a failure in the air fryer is the bomb. And that's because it's kind of fallen apart, but it gives you a chance just to see how lovely and caramelly the center of it is. It's just perfect. Let me chop into some other ones so that you can just see what they look like. So our favorite ones are the ones actually made with homemade pastry. I mean, oh, look at the center of that. That one looks fantastic. So let's try a bit, shall we? That is really, really nice. Now, yeah. let's compare it to this one. You can feel the texture difference between that and the puff pastry. So. Oh, the puff pastry ones are just brilliant. Let's look at that of how it comes out. And the caramel is lovely and melted. Just look at that little bit of caramel there. It's just lovely. Mm. They're just so, so nice. But the thing you have when you do them is, it's the, you want to eat them straight away, but the caramel is going to be very hot in the center. So you've got to leave it a couple of minutes, but you don't want to leave it too long because otherwise um, you'll lose the lovely melty texture. So if you have a look at that, it just looks absolutely perfect. And like I said, these are just so easy to do. And you can take any of your favorite chocolate bars really and do it, especially the ones that have a caramel center to them. I'm sure Cadbury's caramel would be lovely in there as well. You know, there's just so much choice. And of course you can keep it simple and just do Oreos. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.